Welcome back to another video, and this should be a fun one. First of all, sorry about my voice if it sounds a little bit off. I've had a bit of a head cold, and it's just a bit nasally, so sorry if that's annoying. But this is a pretty time-sensitive video, so I wanted to post it. If you weren't aware, the 2021 SEMA show will be going live soon. Actually starts today, November 2nd to November 5th at the Las Vegas Convention Center. As they usually do, Mopar will be showing off seven different concepts from Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, getting really creative and using their vehicles to paint a canvas of colors with some unique designs and different functionalities. So we will be covering those seven vehicles today. There are four Jeeps, two Rams, and one Dodge. Before we get started, we can take a deeper look at SEMA. SEMA stands for Specialty Equipment Market Association, formed in 1963, and the very first SEMA show was held in 1967 in the basement of Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. That first year, there were just 98 manufacturers, 5 vehicles on display, and only 3,000 people in attendance. And a show booth would only cost around $375 US. In 1974, the show moved to Anaheim Stadium, and it began to rapidly grow to where it is today. This association consists of 6,383 companies across the world, bringing together aftermarket manufacturers, original equipment manufacturers, the media, car dealers, specialty equipment distributors, installers, retailers, and restoration specialists. The show is one of the largest conventions in Vegas every year, now attracting over 60,000 buyers, where they can see thousands of new products and partake in demonstrations, special events, seminars, networking events, and more. Anyways, let's begin with the first concept. I wanted to start with the oldest looking concept vehicle, and that would be the Kaiser Jeep M725. This is a vintage 1967 Kaiser Jeep M725 that was originally a military ambulance, and Jeep has turned it into an off-road icon for Jeep performance parts. The first thing you notice is the exterior look, as the Jeep is painted in desert tan color and receives huge 20 by 12 inch black Rhino armory wheels with 8 lug nuts and 40 inch tires. Up front there are 7 inch LED headlights with a pair of 5 inch off-road LED lights on the hood and another 7 inch LED above the windshield that can be used as a spotlight. There's LED taillights out the back as well, along with a rear backup camera. A custom roof panel is added that can raise 16 inches and the rear and sides open up so the truck could potentially hand out supplies or serve food and beverages. Rock rails are added on the side that are constructed with heavy gauge steel and coated with durable truck bed liner coating. As for the capabilities of this Jeep, the original frame has been reinforced and the original leaf springs are replaced with a more modern and heavy duty Lincoln coil suspension. The original engine is long gone and in its place sits a Mopar crate engine, the 392 Hemi V8 with 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. The transmission remains vintage though, as the Hemi is paired with a Chrysler Torque Flight 727 3-speed automatic transmission. Moving inside, Jeep has added Wrangler seats that are wrapped in a tan canvas. It's mostly custom in there, as Jeep has custom built the steering wheel, the column, and even created the center console from an ammunition box. That's paired with modern instrument panel gauges and a screen for the backup camera display. The floor has been coated with bed liner material for extreme durability. And as you'd expect, Jeep has a data plaque to show the original specs of this specific vehicle. Now we can move on to concept number two, the Jeep Grand Cherokee L Breckenridge concept. This builds on the new three-row Grand Cherokee L, featuring a beautiful custom paint job that pairs two-tone magnetite matte metallic with gloss black. Jeep also added satin bronze accents on the grille and badges. The gloss black wheels are 21 inches, with a split five-spoke design. Mopar also mounted a piano black Thule cargo box to the roof. Inside the cabin features atmospheric blue Palermo leather seats and door panels with blue quilting, and the trim pieces are finished in premium satin walnut. The satin bronze and black accents also carry over inside as well, and they're found on the upper door panels, instrument panel, and steering wheel, providing a unique rich-looking contrast of color. Jeep also added stainless steel pedal covers and all-weather floor mats. One final custom addition would be Jeep branded Olive hard shell luggage with a set of atmospheric blue comfort pillows that match the seats. Now let's break up the Jeep talk and look at the two Ram concepts. The first is the 1500 Outdoorsman, which builds on the Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4. It really stands out with the custom Mopar blue graphics that are laid on top of the gloss black paint job. The truck has a Mopar 2-inch lift kit with Fox shocks and rides on split 6-spoke 20x9-inch black rhino wheels 
with 35 inch continental tires. This truck is all about custom Mopar accessories and using them outdoors and that starts with a concept two height position Mopar bed rack system that can safely carry a variety of items from ladders for work to kayaks for fun. Two inch LED lights are added to each corner with a third brake light as well. An Expertec bed slide system is mounted to the floor of the truck bed with dual rolling panels that are rated at 2,000 pounds each for easy unloading and loading of tools and equipment. Each sliding panel carries custom T-rack rails and mounts to secure items. The bed floor is protected with a durable Mopar spray and bed liner. Also attached to the inside walls of the bed are Mopar bed rails with adjustable cleats that slide to secure cargo of any size. Mopar tube steps are added to the side rails. Really continuing with that working man outdoors theme, on the inside of the tailgate there is a custom Mopar Ramgate task bench insert that has some conversion charts, an angle finder, and a concept T-rack mounting system, making this a very versatile workspace. There's also the Rambox cargo management system here as well. The interior looks great with front row bucket seats and second row bench seats that have the Mopar Blue catskin leather side bolsters, alloy mesh cloth inserts, and Sydney Gray accent leather. The front seats also have custom embroidered outdoorsman and Mopar logos. Other pieces like the A-pillar handles and door poles are wrapped with black Go-Tex vinyl, and the armrests have Mopar blue stitching. Ram made sure to continue with that outdoor theme by adding Mopar all-weather floor mats and even a Ram vac onboard vacuum that hides under the second row bench seat. There's also a 12 by 14 inch deployable work surface sliding out from the armrest. The next concept builds on the quickest, fastest, and most powerful truck ever, the Ram 1500 TRX, which was released in 2021. The TRX uses the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 engine with 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. That same engine is also found on the Dodge Challenger, Charger, and Durango Hellcats, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So this is called the Rex Runner concept, and it adds a ton of Mopar accessories and custom parts. First up, there are custom 18 by 9 inch black Rhino chamber wheels with 37 inch Goodyear tires. Visually, Ram went for ash gray paint with some Mopar blue accents, including a single center stripe that runs over the hood and roof, a long side stripe, TRX graphics by the bed, a blue Ram grille, and dual blue tow hooks on the front end. The front and rear also feature custom metal skid plates with the Mopar lettering laser etched in on there. They're also functional, for example that front plate alone increases the approach angle by 2.3 degrees up to 32.5 degrees. You can also find Mopar rock rails that protect the side sills and a custom black fuel filler door. On top of the truck there's a ram bar with a pair of 14 inch LED rectangle lights, presumably for off-roading. Mounted in the bed is a full size 37 inch spare wheel and tire with a Mopar bed extender in front of it to help transport tools and equipment securely. The bed is sprayed by Mopar with a textured bed liner for protection. Continuing out the rear, Mopar has used a pair of 5 inch black exhaust tips as well as a bed step with an articulating arm that lowers or retracts out of the way. There's only one or two shots of the interior so far, but it's race inspired and uses some features from the TRX as well as the Tradesman. It takes the center stack, instrument cluster, flat bottom steering wheel, paddle shifters, center console mounted floor shifter, and aggressive seating from the TRX. From the Tradesman, it uses molded one-piece door panels and a vinyl floor, and an extra feature would be Mopar stainless steel pedal covers. Now we can switch back to Jeep and check out the Wrangler 4xe concept. The 4xe has already released as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle as of 2021, winning many awards. Now this concept will add some Jeep performance parts and customizations. The exterior paint is finished in ivory pearl, which includes the JPP tube doors. Jeep also added some graphics to the hood and fender for a more customized look. All the other production accents both inside and outside of the vehicle, along with the Jeep rock rails that have been added, are all painted in a dark neutral metallic grey. At the base of each A-pillar you can find 5 inch off-road LED lights, which use a concept bracket that fits around the plug-in charging port door on the fender. Moving to the back, Jeep has added a swing gate hinge reinforcement, allowing for a full size spare wheel and tire to be mounted, as shown on the picture. As for capability, there's an industry first Jeep 2 inch lift kit with Fox shocks, and it rides on Jeep beadlock capable wheels with functional beadlock rings and BF Goodrich KM3 37 inch tires. Custom lights have been added under the body to light up the ground in all four corners to see rocks and debris when taking the 4xe off-roading. The front features a JPP stamped steel bumper with a custom single hoop winch protector 
along with LED lights above a worn winch. The interior is absolutely gorgeous, with Mopar blue catskin leather seats with tungsten stitching. A Gorilla Glass windshield added is three times stronger than a stock one. The floor features a concept three-piece vinyl with four different drain plugs. Jeep has added a custom instrument panel accessory rail system to hold mobile devices, along with black pedals and door handles. Inside the tailgate is a custom trail rail management system with different cargo loops, a flip-down table, and onboard compressor for air inflation. The final Jeep concept is a Wrangler Overlook, which stretches a four-door Wrangler Sahara into a three-row off-roading vehicle. So Jeep has stretched the cabin by 12 inches, and the roof line is 5 inches taller for more headroom. Large additional side windows have been added for enhanced viewing, and there's a removable freedom top with a glass sunroof panel that flips up to open over the driver and front passenger. The interior features black catskin leather seats and a black leather wrapped dashboard, both with Sahara bronze stitching. The front seats have a Jeep grill logo embroidered in the seat backs, and there are black Jeep sill guards under all four doors. As for the exterior, this Jeep is finished in Sahara bronze. The front bumper is narrower than stock for a better approach angle and has LED fog lights and a satin black grille. The hood is a concept with black Mopar latches that feature the Jeep Willis logo. Mounted on the A pillars are LED lights with a platinum chrome finish. In the back, again, we see a modification kit added to the tailgate, allowing for a large spare tire to be mounted on the swing gate. Custom rear bumper extensions go 12 inches around the quarter panel, right to the wheel flares. As for performance, again there's a 2 inch lift kit with Fox shocks, and 20 inch black Rhino York wheels with 37 inch BF Goodrich KM3 mud terrain tires. The final concept on today's list is the Dodge Challenger Holy Guacamole concept. This takes the 2020 Challenger RT Scat Pack widebody, and that also happens to be a 50th anniversary edition, and tries to give it a more old school appearance. The exterior features a custom green paint, a color that Dodge calls Rotten Avocado, and has a custom painted Gold School Shaker hood scoop and matching 50th anniversary side striping that wasn't found on the production versions. Mopar's added staggered 20 inch Ford line wheels and a coilover kit to lower the suspension. Under the hood is the 485 horsepower 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine, along with a Mopar cold air intake. Perhaps saving the best for last, the interior is absolutely decked out with green and yellow plaid inserts on the seats and wood panel trims, both of which pay tribute to the colors and materials found in the original 1970 Challenger. So that's it for this video guys, what do you think of these 7 new concepts that Mopar is bringing to the SEMA show, and which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.